Howdy folks, it's Saturday, and today I'm at Brighton Film and Comic Con meeting Christian Nairn, who played Hodor in Game of Thrones, and he's really hot right now. As well as Chris Barry, who played Rimmer in Red Dwarf, and while I'm there, here's an episode of XCOM 2 with the mighty jingles to keep you busy until Mingles with Jingles on Monday. When last we left our band of intrepid heroes, Advent had just initiated a retaliation strike against a resistance outpost, and so the boys, and the girl, have to go in and deal with it. We join the squad, just as they've uncovered a nest of chrysalids. And as we discovered in the last episode, I really, really don't like chrysalids, and they've caught me on the hop as well. I've only got two members of the squad set up on Overwatch. Hector, who misses, and Sircon, who's only on pistol Overwatch, and misses as well. Oh, this ain't good. I do at least have everybody set up covering the right sector to handle them, but if any one of those things gets into melee range, I'm in deep trouble. And now it's the alien turn, and they start murdering all the civilians that I haven't actually made contact with yet, so I'll probably get in a lecture from Central around about now. Heavy civilian casualties, Commander. We have to stop this. What do you mean, heavy casualties? It's one. Right. Quickly your baby special ability triggered, and he misses them as well. Jingles! One of them just moved into line of sight. That's how it's done. And yet, the chrysalid behavior... It's kind of weird. It's like... Which way are they going? Why are they not attacking? It's almost as if there are some civilians behind them, and they can't make their mind up which way they want to go. I'm certainly not complaining. Quickie baby. Uh, Whatever you say. Get a little closer, improve his chances of hitting. Yeah, that'll do. Shoot him in the face. Nice shot. Of course, it still has its armor. Hit the armor. So not quite enough to kill it. Then again, even if it didn't have any armor, it would have still been up on one health. So, Rita. I don't like those odds of hitting. Um, I'm going to go for a melee attack. And I kind of misjudge this, because I'm thinking, well, if she kills it, her special ability is going to trigger and she'll be immune to the first attack made against her in the aliens next turn, so she can get closer to chrysalids and not have to worry about it. And then she doesn't kill it. <laughs> Jingles to the rescue. Let's take that one out at least. Okay. One down, two to go. What did you expect? And the one that Rita's engaged with shouldn't be difficult to kill, if I could just hit it. Hector, move up. Not a problem. Glad to hear it. And now it's out of line of sight. Oh, you must be kidding me. I'm not doing too well in this particular retaliation strike, am I? Come on, Ike. Save the nice lady. That's more like it. Well, where did the other okay, one go? So I got one. Huh. It's... Well, that's another one. That's not the one that... There were three. That's a fourth. It's another dead civilian. Stand by for incoming lecture. No? Nothing from Central this time. So that's another chrysalid. That's not the one that ran off. Huh. Already there. To complete one of these retaliation strike missions, you have to rescue a minimum of six civilians, which means you can't hang around, because Advent are hunting them down and killing them. And if you just take your time and move up to Overwatch and so on and so on and so on, Advent will kill all the civilians, and then there won't be six civilians left for you to rescue. Also, you don't start in concealment. They know you're coming. So they can be tricky, still. I mean, I've had some bad luck on this mission, but I've made some dubious decisions as well. No problem. Some civilians spotted over there. I'm on it. One more way. It's a, it's a trade-off. You can't afford to hang around, and so you need to get up there. 
and get these civvies rescued. Of course, some of them are not civvies. They're alien facelesses in disguise. So, <laughs> it's one of those things. Do you want to use all your movements? Ah, there we go. There's one of them. That could have been nasty. Now, who's he going to go for? Is he going to kill the civilian next to him? Or is he going to come for the troops? And it looks like they found more civilians outside of range. Oh, it missed. Oh, well, that's a bit of good luck. And he's ignoring the civilian, so more good luck. Come on, Sircon. Oh, yes. Sircon doesn't mess around. You know that was good. Yes, we do know that was good. All right, so there's two civilians to rescue over there. Quickie baby is really, really good at this sort of thing. Because, well, I can use both of his actions on movement. And because of the specialist abilities that he has, he will automatically go into Overwatch at the end of the turn. So I can use him to cover a lot of distance. And he's going to be ready to cover anybody else like that. Whoa, whoa, it went... It ran right past... The hell? Okay, that was... Unexpected. It ran right past Rita, went to Quickie Baby, missed. Rita's Bladestorm ability triggered as it ran past. And she got a free melee attack against it. I don't deserve to be this lucky. <laughs> it's not the end of the turn, of course. So Quickie Baby's Overwatch hadn't triggered, so it's basically got a free run at him. I don't know why I went for him and not Rita, but I'm certainly not complaining. Damn, but those things can move quickly. Right, Ecta, kill it. Nice. Okay. I'm sure there was a third chrysalid, though, in that first patrol. And it ran off. Um, over to the left. No idea why or where it's gone. Well, I guess we're going to find out. Now. There's one other civilian waiting to be rescued right there. But, well, the squad are strung out all over the place. I want to try to keep them bunched up and giving each other mutually support and fire as much as possible. And I've got people on Overwatch ready to cover anybody that tries to make a move on that civilian. It's the alien turn. Nothing happens. No further civilian casualties. Right. Alright, Sircon. We've shifted your fire over to this side. We're going to put you on Overwatch. Rita, get in there. Another civilian rescued. Okay, you stand by to cover. Jingles. You get better shots from there. Right now I don't... Oh wait, there's another two civilians inside that room. Okay. Oh well, I was just about to say I don't know where the rest of the civilians are, but well, there you go. Another two inside that warehouse. Let's set everybody up to cover the angles. Ike. Oh, there you go. This is why it doesn't pay to just rush in as soon as you see a civilian. Jingles, have it. Yeah, that's right. Don't mess with the Overlord of the Salt Mines. Okay. So there's three civilians inside there. Um, but there may be more chrysalids. Having said that, though, nobody shot at them in the previous alien turn. So they're probably safe for now. Let's see what we can see with Quickie Baby. We'll use both of his moves. He'll go into Overwatch anyway. Didn't spot anything else in there. Except, hang on, what's this? What is that? I don't recognize that sound effect. We're losing civilians left and right, Commander. We need to get these people out of here. It's not a plasma weapon. I can't leave Hector there, he's gonna start taking fire damage. Alright. I'm gonna move quickly baby up. Get him in cover behind the stairwell and get one of those civilians out of there. Because whatever is killing the civilians at the rear of the building is gonna be shooting these guys next. 
And he's in... Oh, that is... Okay, it's a gatekeeper. And a pair of troopers. That ain't... That ain't ideal. Well, Quickie Baby's in cover. Uh, Rita's got a shot, but it's not great odds. On the other hand, Plasma Grenade will strip some of its armor and do some damage. Unfortunately, Plasma Grenade's also going to destroy the stairwell, which means Quickie Baby's now standing in the middle of an open room, having used both of his moves, and there's a gatekeeper standing right in front of him. This is a job for the Blaster Bomb Launcher. I need to take as many of these suckers down as I possibly can. That should hit two of them. Guided munitions coming up. Unfortunately, I actually take a bad situation and make it worse. Because, yeah, okay, I killed one of them and I stripped all of the armor. Actually, no, I didn't kill him. Yes, I did kill him. And I stripped all of the armor remaining from the gatekeeper. But that's removed the back wall of the warehouse building. <laughs> So both of the surviving aliens can now shoot at Quickie Baby. And Quickie Baby can't move. So now I've got to kill both of those guys before they get a chance to react. This is not going to be easy. Hector. Rescues one of the civilians. Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. Right. Now, Hector. Uh, well, yeah. Grenades guaranteed damage. It's not enough, <laughs> but, but it's some. Um... Oh, Ike. Um... I'm going. Let's see if we can shoot it from there. We can. Again, it's not a great chance of hitting. But a plasma grenade is. But it's unlikely to finish it off. No, nah, close, but no cigar. Who do I have left? Just Zircon. And he does not have line of sight. Oh. Well, I can set up a kill zone, I suppose. You never know your luck. You don't want to be relying on luck in a game like this. <laughs> right. Oh, wait, wait. It's open to shell. Come on, quickie, baby. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Here comes the kill shot. Come on, come on. Oh, no, Circle missed. Jingles! Come on, Jingles! Do it! Yes! <laughs> He's only got and done it. <laughs> You lucky son of a bitch, Jingles. <laughs> Is that it? That's not it. Oh, oh, no, no, not a flawless mission yet. There's there's at least one alien still running around there somewhere. How the hell did I get away with that? My luck has got to start running out soon. I'm still convinced that there's a chrysalid running around out there somewhere from that first ambush. But it could also be a faceless. We've run into one, there could be another one on this mission somewhere. Unless that chrysalid that ran down that alley there was the third chrysalid that we bumped into in the beginning, but, oh well, we're going to find out. And I can afford to take things cautiously now. I've rescued my minimum of six civilians. Now all I have to do is eliminate the remaining advent forces. Of course, I just have to find the little buggers first. They've been very, very quiet. If the last remaining alien on a mission is a faceless, once he is the last remaining alien on the mission in the next alien turn, they will reveal themselves. So. Oh, no. Chrysalid. Come on, Sircon, redeem yourself. Yeah, that's more like it. Was that the last one? Impressed yet? Nope. There we go. Faceless. Right, this is now the last alien left on the mission. Kill this guy, and we're done. Do I have enough people on Overwatch? I should do. Hector! God damn it, Hector. If you need the job doing properly, 
get jingles to do it. What did you expect? Nothing but the best. Menace one five status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Booyah! Flawless mission. <laughs> <laughs> I totally didn't deserve to get away with that. I'm going to have to actually start getting good at this game before too long. The aliens are probably still wondering what hit them. Let's keep it up, Commander. Right, well, no promotions. I did mention a couple of weeks ago that I had a sneaky plan. And yes, you don't get an awful lot of loot from a retaliation strike mission. Considering the limited resources available to you, Commander, you have still managed to exceed my expectations. Excellent work. Oh shucks. Thank you, Mr. Movie Voiceover Guy. But yes, I mentioned a couple of weeks back that I had a sneaky plan for Billy. Um, while you can't actually take an existing trooper and train them as a psionic operative, what you can do is take a rookie, train them as a psionic operative, and then go into the character editor and change their name and face. So that's what I've done. And there he is, Mystic Billy Scapegoat Warren, psionic operative. Latest training complete, now we're going to train him in the Inspire ability. Grant a bonus action to a teammate, which is... Psionic operatives are really, really useful. And we're going to be seeing Billy in action before too long. So things are going quite well. Um, I've managed to infiltrate resistance networks all across Asia. I've got the Continental bonus for that. I've got the Continental bonus for all of Europe. I'm expanding operations into the continental United States. Advent haven't been quiet, but I'm managing to keep a lid on it. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Billy's training is coming along nicely. Um, before too long, I'm going to have a very, very powerful psionic operative on the team. And I haven't actually failed a mission yet. I've actually got nothing left to research. I've got too many scientists sitting around idle and nothing for them to direct their efforts on. Plenty of supplies for the Advanced Warfare Center to keep churning out high-tech weapons and, well, it's almost too good, isn't it? I'm cruising along using brute force, luck and ignorance to get me through my missions and, well, you just, you can't do that in XCOM 2, regardless of the difficulty setting that you're playing it on. At some point, it is going to bite you in the arse. And so that, of course, is when a couple of rather unfortunate events occur. Avatar finalized the progress on the Avatar project Command, again. The aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Which activates my three week countdown timer to game over, you lost. Billy picks up a promotion to Magus, so that's good news. His training's not complete yet, however. And while I'm prepping for a raid on an advent black site in order to reset that countdown timer, a monthly council mission pops up, and it's a priority mission, I can't ignore it, so I'm going to have to deal with this before I can do anything about the countdown timer. Then again, the VIP that I have to rescue in this mission is an engineer, and engineers are always useful, so... I'm not too bothered about having to complete this mission before I can hit one of those advent black sites. And it's just a VIP rescue mission. I've done these before, they're not hard. Easy in, easy out. Brute force and ignorance will win the day. Yeah, not this time. All that and more coming up in the next episode of XCOM 2 with the Mighty Jingles. Enjoy your weekend, folks. I'll catch you next time.